In addition to the base child support calculation, there's several other subcategories of expenses that have to be considered when putting together a complete financial um, arrangement and agreement for a divorcing couple with children and how those expenses um, are going to be shared. One of those categories that's often overlooked, and I would say in my experience, easily the most contentious when not addressed is the idea of how extracurricular expenses, uh, logistical related expenses, uh, those kinds of expenses are going to be determined and then how they're going to be split. So I've kind of got uh, two categories there. The extracurricular expenses are typically anything that is for the enhancement of the child, but not entertainment. So for example, piano lessons, uh, swimming lessons, soccer fees, um, uh, a yearbook, uh, those kinds of things are very commonly considered an extracurricular club, sports, those things. Um, the logistical uh, expenses would be things like a cell phone. If your child is, is old enough to drive, and they're going to have a car, that car is going to have some expenses, some maintenance expenses, they'll need to be health insurance, excuse me, uh, car insurance for that uh, vehicle, um, fuel for the car. Those will need to be expenses that need to be, uh, that are not part of your child's support that need to be looked at. And um, generally speaking, um, the things that are not included are entertainment related costs like movie tickets and vacation funds, gifts for friends, birthday parties. That seems to be one that comes up a lot. You know, how, how are we going to split if our seven-year-old gets invited to a birthday party and we have to buy a gift for that person? How do we split that? Um, I'm surprised at how much that comes up. That's usually not in that category. The nice thing about mediation, anything can be anything. If you decide that you want ski passes, to be included in your extracurricular definition, you can absolutely do that. So I'm just giving you kind of just a general idea of the trends that we see. Once you have identified what those categories are, then you need to have a discussion about how they're going to be divided. Similar to the other categories that we've talked about, there's a lot of different options. Many people default to the standard 50-50 model, 50% 50 of, of whatever the expense is. Other people um, prefer that it be split proportionate to what your earning ability is. Um, one of the biggest problems with extracurricular expenses is saying, are we gonna just say all extracurricular expenses um, if they meet this definition will be included. So if that were the case, you might uh, get yourself into trouble because if your son wants to go into equestrian lessons and as a result, they need to buy a $15,000 quarter horse, you may not like getting a bill for $7,500 to pay for a horse. So there, the, the things that a mediator can help you do is to say, we're going to, for instance, a common way to do that is we're gonna put a monthly minimum amount that we're gonna to contribute to extracurricular and logistical costs. Hypothetically, that may be $300. Then the parties agree to fund that $300 each month. If they agree to do it 50-50, they each contribute $150. Then anything within that $300 amount, the parties don't have to nickel and dime each other. If there happens to be swimming lessons due, they can pay it out, they, 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 they pay that out of that $150, or the $300 allocation. Um, only if it looks like the monthly total is gonna exceed 300, would they need to have a discussion about that. The language can get a little bit um, technical but it's designed to prevent problems and having a mediator help you customize that language can save you thousands of dollars in unexpected fees and bills and potentially attorney's costs if it ends up if, if it ended up going that way i would say get an agreement on this thing 
because it's in the top five things that we find people overlook and have big problems with later. And that's the extracurricular expenses and the logistical costs. And mediation is the perfect setting to get that taken care of.